Jim Kopp is the owner of The Family Drive-In Theater in Stevens City, Virginia, right outside the great metropolis of Winchester, one of only six operational drive-ins in the state. He says that business has serviced nearly 5,000 moviegoers this month alone, and he expects that trend to continue. On a personal note, I have been to that theater in high school, and Jim Kopp, my dad, went to that drive-in theater because his dad owned a gas station about a half a mile from where your theater is. Great to have you on the program. Are you shocked at the boom in business that you have seen in little old Stephen City? Well, uh, good morning. Uh, yes, we all um, were, were pleasantly surprised that uh, there's been uh, a lot of folks that are anxious to get out, anxious to feel safe and get some movie entertainment. Yeah, I mean, do you expect this to last, Jim? I mean, I guess that's the trend, you know, we've talked about is what's going to happen, you know, after things start to reopen. Do you think you've you've gained these customers or gained these customers back for life? They get to realize, oh, man, this is not only retro, it's fun again. Well, well we certainly hope so. We, uh, we want everyone to experience the driving. We always say it's an experience. And uh, whenever you get the families or friends, together and you have um, a big movie on the big screen and experience that with um, uh, experience that the driving. It's always something that's memorable. And we're hoping that uh, all the folks that are rediscovering it will, uh, will continue to be our patrons. You know, I remember going to the drive-in, that drive-in that you own now, one time, and you, you do have to get out of your car and walk over to concessions and get some soda and candy and popcorn and whatever, and you put the thing on the on the window. I admit I've not been to a drive-in movie in about 30 years. What's the experience like? I've, I've got to imagine you still do have to have some touching, some people waiting in lines. How has it changed for you? Well, with the, um, with the coronavirus, we've got a lot of space in the cars are spaced 10 feet apart. Instead of having two vehicles per speaker, pools by having one. Uh, our speakers, we still have the classic speakers, but they're, um, they're covered up right now because they are a potential hazard for uh, the coronavirus. So at least they still have the sound coming from. And uh, everything is online now. So you used to be able to just drive on down to our theater and just buy a movie ticket. Now you have to buy everything online and our food uh, concessions is by online app also. So it really has changed uh, the way we're doing business uh, in that everything is online. It's a contactless uh, type process. Uh, the restrooms, um, one patron in, then they have to be sanitized. So the, the, the restroom lines seem to be long. Yeah. But um, yeah. I wish it was this because we thought that many people probably want to go to the bathroom. But uh, we have, we t continue to have the lines, particularly in the ladies' room. Uh, so, and they're happy that it's sanitized in between the use. So, uh, uh, but we're really happy about the fact that the crowds are coming out. 